Hey guys, today we have another great product to review. Ugh, let me pass this along, and Elisa. It's broken. Stand up and open it from this side. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here, Anna. Very carefully. Okay, this nice padded case. And what we have here are astronomy binoculars. <laughs> These are huge, they weigh a ton. Um, so they're made by a company called. Oh, no. There's a box. I have the box. Okay, unwrap those, Annalisa. They're made by a company called Z Humon or Humon. I don't know if the H is silent or the Z is silent. But these are made for looking at the stars, looking at, well, they supposedly they let in enough light where you can see galaxies and nebulas. These are for stargazing. Now, I believe you have them upside down. Can you flip it over? What do you mean? Flip them. Like that? Yeah. A standard? Turn, no, just turn them the other way. There you go. Like that. And, um, so, they have their centerpiece here that mounts on a tripod. These are like 12 pounds or something, 10 to 12 pounds. Um, and uh, yeah, they're just too heavy to hold in your hands. The magnification is 25 by 100. And uh, they're made for a good sturdy tripod. And oh, um, I was going to buy them on Amazon and I said, and I thought the price was good on Amazon. They're like $300 and I thought just for the heck of it, I'll look on eBay. Maybe someone's got a used pair and boy, I lucked out. Someone was selling a pair for $200 or $199 and uh, um, I didn't put it in a bid. They had a, a price where you could buy them now. So I said $200, I'll take a chance. Uh, hopefully there's nothing wrong with them. Hopefully they're not cheap. And uh, and yeah, got them for $200. And honestly, if they had said they were brand new, I never would have known. There's no mark, there's no, shine, no sign of wear in any way. They look like they're pristine new. So, <laughs> these are them, made by Zihumo or zoom -o. but anyways um just to go over oh, some yeah. of the features okay. go ahead yeah yeah let's pop off the cover oh, man they don't lens covers don't come off that easy there's like a vacuum maybe somehow they got vacuumed <laughs> like a vacuum i can't get this one off there we go so just look at these lenses. Let me focus in on that. If I look through them. Yeah, these lenses are huge. They're going to let in a lot of light. Where, um, like I said, they claim um, that the magnification on this type of binoculars, that you can see uh, galaxies and nebulas. These for deep space viewing. Um, and of course you can use them on land, like if you have these at the ocean or up in the mountains. But uh, you mount them on a tripod and then you balance them. Balance them on the tripod. And you can adjust the diopters for your Pacific eyesight. Um, individual adjustments for each eye and also I heard that in here 
the inside of the eyepiece you can screw in some filters like that would go on a telescope I believe they're one and a quarter uh, thread width but anyways like if you were looking at a, a galaxy uh, there's certain filters that you can get that will uh, bring out the colors of the galaxy and so yeah you'd put one on each eyepiece so I haven't had the chance yet to take them out but we will and uh, in the future we'll be doing all sorts of space photography uh, and I hope to buy some telescopes over the next couple of years and uh, do all sorts of galaxy nebular photography so uh, yeah subscribe to the channel and we hope to have that stuff at some point in the future thanks for watching guys